going on youtubers Abdur Sound here from andertechblackspot.com right now I'll be showing you how to install or flash Slimbin ROM on your AT&T Galaxy S3 first of all you'll need a rooted phone and then turn off your phone once the phone is off press volume up power and home first library let go of the power second let go of the other two buttons and you will boot into Clockwork Recovery. Now I have the Touch Clockwork Recovery. If you're wondering how to get that, go ahead and see in the description. I'll have a video link and follow the video. Here we are going to go back up and restore and back up to your internal SD card just to make sure if you have any problems, you can always restore. Press back button. We're going to go wipe data factory reset. Yes. Again, yes. Wipe cache partition. Wipe cache partition. Mount and storage format system or format data format system. Format cache. Press back button, go advance. Wipe the alloc cache, wipe the alloc cache, back button, then install zip from SD card. That's your external, this is your internal. Then I go into my external, find where I have my ROM, slim bin. With this, you will need your Google Apps for Jelly Bean, so make sure you have that. If I forget it, put the link in the description, make sure you remind me. Uh, go back again scroll look left data 26 and once it's done we're going to go ahead and press back button and reboot system now This is the fastest way and most easiest and most reliable way to flash ROM. I will show you that it boots up correctly and then in next video I'll show you its full review. This is like Sana Gemma 10 Hybrid ROM Slim Bean. They just made it really simple to use the ROM and kind of did their speed tweaks and other stuff. So, as you can see, the soft light keys are already up. That means your phone will be booting up, it's not in boot loop no more. And here it goes. Already booted up. Lower DPI, as you can probably notice. This is it, guys. I'll see you in the next video for full review.